What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris and I'm out here on beautiful Goose Lake fishing from a boat with my old man. We are going to be fishing for some trout today and I think we've got a tip that you guys can use to catch trout up here. So, foolproof. As I mentioned earlier in the video, a couple weekends ago, my family met up in Washington State um, near a lake called Goose Lake. And Goose Lake is a, a pretty cool little lake, beautiful setting. And we went trout fishing quite a bit. Um, we went out on kayaks, we went out on boats. And my brother-in-law and I went out on the kayak for a while and we had a hard time hooking up with fish. We kept looking over at my dad in the boat though, and him, my daughter, and my sister kept catching fish left and right. My little girl, 10 years old, limited out um, pretty quickly on her first trip out on the boat. So that day, my dad had figured out what the fish were keying in on, and they were keying in on flashers um, trailed by a worm on a hook. So you might be wondering, what is a flasher? And I thought, this would be a great video to do to tell you how you could troll for trout. So basically what you see here are a couple of different um, examples of flashers. Uh, a couple different colors, some different sizes in the blades. But basically what they all have in common is a rudder. And that will just help keep uh, your flasher rig um, kind of tracking in, in the right direction. Um, a cable, so that is like a steel leader, and it's sectioned so that they don't all bunch up together. So that's as far as this one can go. Most of them will have anywhere from three to five blades. The blades are typically a kind of a Colorado style rounded blade. But every now and then you'll see some that are more of a willow. Um, these are a little bit of a, a mixture of the two. And you get a variety of different colors. Towards the end you typically have a swivel snap hook set up. Um, and you can attach a lure. Usually with a hook you would want a little bit of a leader. Um, in one case, one thing that we found that worked really well was to actually tie on a wedding ring. This is called a wedding ring. It's basically a small flasher. Um, with a hook on it. What worked for us was actually trailing the flasher rig with a hook either in a size 8 or a size 10 and a worm on it. Um, we weren't using the whole worm, we were cutting them into thirds and that worked great. Um, worked really good for us but I know a lot of people have luck um, with spinners at the end and um, sometimes spoons even. Um, so you know try some different stuff. But this is the basic setup. This is what you're looking for. Got one. He feels good. Whoa. Yeah. I was using my Cast King Sharky 2 um, with this setup and 12 pound floor coat spooled on it and a pretty sensitive trout rod and it just seemed to work great. It's super fun catching trout um, on a pretty sensitive rod. It just uh, makes that bite more enjoyable, but it also helps keep that hook from getting just blasted out of their mouth, torn out of their mouth. Nice. <laughs> this is a good fish. I told you, that, that lure is the bomb. Oh, he's a good one, dad. That's not normal. All right. As you guys can probably tell, we caught a ton of fish. Um, this particular uh, outing this day, my dad and I both limited. And other people on the lake were catching fish too, but it just seemed like we had that uh, magic touch. We were catching fish left and right. And one of the keys is trolling fairly slow. You don't want to go too fast. Um, even my son got in the action. He caught quite a few fish. My brother-in-law as well, uh, it was his first or second time ever fishing from a kayak and he limited out in like an hour and a half uh, trolling a flasher rig. 
and it was just great fun seeing my dad and my son um, catch fish. You know, being in the boat with my dad and my son was awesome, and it wouldn't have been as good of a time, I think, if we didn't have these flasher rigs. Are you turning off? No, not huge ones today, but yeah. Well, it's pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, those yeah, are good ones. No, they're still. And you want to let get it in the water? Get it in the water? No, just get it in the water. Yeah, right like that. Now up, 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 up. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Good job, dude. High five me, dude. There was one day in particular we all had a really busy day. We had about an hour and a half before dark. My dad, my brother-in-law, and I all jetted out. And we were all using these flasher rigs, and we limited out in an hour and a half. 15 fish in an hour and a half. Stick your stick your rod out a little bit. Out the back towards them? Now pull it towards Rick. Ooh, we're going under. Nice one. <laughs> Bite. Bite. Okay, I got you now. Rick ship left a little. Whoa. Okay. Where's he at? He's right under the boat. No, he's right. back over here. No, but he's hooked. Okay. Ooh. I'm bringing him this way, and now I'm gonna bring him back to you, okay? Yep. Ooh, he's a little nut shy. Nice. Yeah! Nice. Woo! Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> oh, barely hooked. <laughs> barely still good. <laughs> Hold that sucker up. We sure had a blast using these flashers trolling and if you have a kayak or a small little boat like this with the trolling motor I really suggest trying to flash her out especially in some of these cold high mountain lakes that are a little bit shallow where the fish aren't super deep. All right everybody that's going to wrap it up for me. Thanks for watching and thanks for getting out west with Chris.